Good afternoon, my loves. Um, well, just a heads up, but it's actually cloudy right now. Like, it's not raining yet, but it's going to. It's the first rainfall of the summer, which is amazing for me because um, it's we're actually in a drought and we're not allowed to technically um have our sprinklers on only like once a time a week it's it's horrible i i've been missing the grain and we finally got a grass like grain and now <laughs> they're all like oh no you can't turn on the water because apparently we need water but um i like green grass better no that came out wrong i probably need water more but oh well um but anyways it's the first rainfall i wonder if you can see it like, in the, can you sort of see all the, how cloudy it is and stuff? So it's kind of dark, and I'm trying to get as much light as I can, and I'm just, like, in my sweats, and, um, I tried turning on that lamp, see, and that's the one I usually have, um, by my camera to make better lighting, but I don't really want to use it over here right now, and, um, I have the light on over there. It's clean. Isn't that shocking? That never happens. Okay, but anyways, heads up. First of all, um, I thank you to all the people from here that have been checking out my Tumblr. You guys are amazing. I'm sorry, there's just some random curly cue. Okay, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, thanks for the anons that are sending me messages. And I keep, like, I didn't even know that anons could, um, you could send a message without a Tumblr account. So, sorry if I, like, was like, oh, I wish you knew who you were and stuff, but I don't, I didn't know that. So, thank you for sending me messages while you're on there. Uh, I, it makes my day, so thanks. And keep it up. Yeah. And, um, but if you could, when you say that, can you tell me your YouTube username or your email or whatever? So, because usually I don't get back to it right on time because I'm not, well, that's a lie. I'm on Tumblr like 24-7. But, um, I'm uh, sometimes I don't answer right away. So just give me that and then I can tell you that I answered it so you don't freak out. And then, like, I, because I, I answer each one. I just hope you don't, yeah. But there you go. <laughs> okay. And heads up, this might be long. And I'm sorry, I really don't know how long. And I could go on forever talking about this. But I finished Mockingjay, which is the third book in the series and um, of The Hunger Games. And I was like, I'm so moved and so obsessed. I have to review it. And I have to talk about my thoughts on it. Because, yeah, so it, there might be spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, then stop right now and go and read them because um they're amazing some of you like were you know like telling me like oh that's cool reading it you know awesome go read it like i'm not even kidding um i think it i think guys and girls will like it it's a it's one of those books that i think makes both happy and um i go read it like yeah go read it <laughs> um the movie comes out in march if you're too lazy so um, it's going to be fabulous. Fabulous. And it's not like Twilight, so don't freak out. And um, I hope it doesn't get to that kind of fan base, because the fandom's pretty rocking right now. Um, they're amazing. Oh, sorry. At least the ones on Tumblr. I haven't really talked to many other places. But on um, I have talked to some on YouTube and like everyone. Everyone's just so nice and we all get each other. So I really love... Um, I actually like the confessions on Tumblr right now because I agree with like almost every single one. And um, But other people are like saying it's all hipster. I don't know what hipster is. I'm going to just say it straight up I really don't know what hipster is and <laughs> that's insane I know because I sort of get it from like TV shows but I don't understand what hipster is so I probably seem hipster because I probably reblog all that stuff but I like pretty pictures and when it looks cool so <laughs> I'm I'm like that little kid that gets attracted by shiny things so we're gonna start now until I make a complete utterly fool of myself um first gotta go to the beginning. I can't, it's been three months since I started this, but The Hunger Games, and, um, wow. Um, I got my cousin, I got two of my cousins and my sister into it, and I think I can work on some of my friends, but, um, they love it, too. So, um, 
But my cousin just finished it, and she doesn't have Catching Fire yet, and she's, like, freaking out. Because I told, I warned her, like, it gets worse. You're going to get emotionally, emotionally attached to it. Because there is no possible way you can't feel emotions when you read these. But, um, actually, and this is pretty crazy, but in The Hunger Games, like, the first book, the plot is barely even mentioned. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, sure, they were like, oh, they go to The Hunger Games. That's not it. Like, they, holy crap. I always wonder what if Suzanne Collins was never given the opportunity to ha make three, like, two more books. Like, what if they were like, no, we want to stop here. Well, then, nothing. Like, I, it's just there is no plot in this. Well, there is a plot, but it's not starting what the original real plot is about. And, right, I said there was going to be spoilers, so I can say it. Because, okay. The, so they ha they go to the Hunger Games, right? And you get the whole backdrop in the beginning. I honestly thought it would be boring from the beginning because I'm not a reader. And people, like all, my family, my sister jokes around, like when people ask, what do you really like to do? She'll, my sister will be like, oh, she reads. Honestly, I hate reading. I don't like words. They're, they're not my stronghold. <laughs> and um, I think anyone that knows me knows that because I'm the kind of I'm the girl that just sits there and you'll you'll have a conversation. And I'll print. I'll like pretend I know that, and then at the end of it, I'll be like, "What does this mean?" So I really don't know. And I'm blonde. It's kind of comes with the hair color. But um, so I'm not really big on reading and words. And that's why I hate school. Well, actually, I hate school for many reasons, but I don't want to think about it because we have two more weeks, so try not to think about that. But um, reading, I hate it a lot. And people are shocked because I, I got obsessed with Twilight, and um, I'm not going to get into that because I know some Hunger Games fans hate it. And, you know, I like it, but for different reasons, not because of the whole movies. Like, I'm not really a big fan about that. I'm not Twihard and that kind of stuff. But I do like the storyline. I That's what I read for. I don't read for the words, but the storyline. And if the story can grasp me, then I will be obsessed. And I will read it, like, 24-7. I'm a slow reader, and that's another reason I hate to read. And it took me three months to read all of these, and Twisted, and uh, actually I read a few books, so. I reread um, Twilight in the beginning of it, and then I stopped to read Hunger Games. But, um, I'll reread these, for sure. Especially, I love rereading, because you miss so many things until you understand what's going on. Especially in mystery books like Pretty Little Liars. But, um, so I'm going to reread these, but in The Hunger Games, I thought it would be boring in the beginning. And I was all like, you know, I didn't know what to expect. My friend was like, oh, you should read these. And every time we passed it in the store, she'd be like, oh, my God, these are amazing. You have to read it. And I was like, yeah, okay, I've heard about them. I don't know. Like, I thought it was just some, because some schools actually have your choir, you know, to read these. Oh, my God, I want to transfer there. I, like, I'm not even kidding. Um, but... <laughs> Some schools, so I thought it was just one of those kind of books that schools have you read. And the only book that really, that my, well, two books that I really actually liked from, like, school-required reading was The House of Scorpion, which is actually really similar to this. So if you like The Hunger Games, um, I require, I, like, I think you'd like The House of Scorpion. I don't remember who writes it, but if you Google it, like, it's kind of similar, but Mexico in the future, and it's really good, so... Um, if you like this, definitely. It's so similar, but um, a whole different to it. But I like that one, and um, Full Tilt. And I don't know who does that one either, but it was really good, too. And it was, <laughs> I don't want to say sadistic, sadistic or whatever, how you say that, but it was good. But um, this one, ah, it takes, you've got to be strong in this kind of thing but like it's a lot of emotional I, I don't want to say it tears you up but it's oh god it's so good but um the hunger games it just it you think you know emotions until you read it and then you're like holy crap what did i just read like every single page had a surprise and i'm not even kidding i had i kind of got it if you um get the pattern at the end of every single chapter, there is going to be at least one word you were not expecting. Like, you're reading it and like, oh, this this person is going to be about snow, and then they flip it, and it's coin. That kind of thing. And <laughs> it's like, 
what? So, and then you just, it just, ah, I got so obsessed. And I would actually stay up until like 6 in the morning because I couldn't stop reading. And it was really bad. But in there, they, you know, go to the Hunger Games and they're, um, and you kind of just, I wasn't expecting the whole PETA thing because I actually didn't like PETA in the beginning. I really liked Gale because, I mean, he's the best friend, you know, and I don't want to describe him or relate him to Twilight, but I see Jacob in him in that way because also, just like Jacob, he kind of turns to um, a kind of harder person because you don't actually, like, you only get a little grasp of him in the beginning because I don't really develop on his character in the first book because they're not really there. And you, like, I constantly thought, I wonder what Gail's thinking during this. And I think that in the movie will be really interesting when it comes to that because may, I'm hoping, like, I pray that they're actually going to, um, like, show the family actually reacting, reacting to it because they can because there's so much to it that we don't even know. Like, what happened to PETA when he was caught in Mockingjay and hijacked and you know there's so much to it that we only get like only a portion of what's going on from Katniss and um, so I think the movies and I think that's why they're making a Mockingjay 2 movies but I think it's Mockingjay they're making two movies I haven't actually I don't I only know is there's gonna be four movies so I don't know who's which one's the split one because I guess they could split Catching Fire but it's usually the last book that they split but um they, you know, uh, I want them to grasp more into that. So Gail didn't really get developed. Um, a lot of people don't like Gail. And it's not that I don't like Gail. I, I actually really like Gail. And I actually was excited to see him in Mockingjay more. But it was just that PETA, we had a lot of more time to, you know, figure out more about PETA. And so we all kind of just automatically, PETA, we fell in love with. And um, just heads up, I'm going to make this parts because I, I can't. I have so much to grasp because I'm going over the whole thing. But anyways, um, so I actually loved Gale in the beginning. And I was kind of heartbroken that they tore him apart and they didn't let him, like, finish his sentence during, um, you know, his little talk with Katniss before she went off. And, I mean, like, we all knew what he was going to say, and it kind of made me mad that Katniss didn't, because it was just so obvious. And it was like, just, man, get a brain. Like, <laughs> I was just, I was so mad because there was just, um, you know, I, and I thought that Gail, he had to be, like, hers. Like, there had to be, like, some kind of, I don't even know what I was thinking because it's been so long, but I really loved Gail. And so when PETA was in there, I was, I kind of despised him. I really hate myself for doing that. Um, I really kind of despised him because I was like, you're going to take away Gail from Katniss and... Sorry. I don't know what that sound is. But, um... I think that's thunder. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I was really mad, and so I, I got all mad about that. And, but, they, um, here, I'm going to make it another part because I don't know how long YouTube accepts videos, so. And I think my dad just came home, so I don't want him to think I'm talking to no one, so. Because people think I'm already weird as it is, so.